How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075 Emergency Vehicles. What we're looking at today is this 2020 Ford Interceptor Utility that we built for the Ridgefield Police Department. So starting off with this vehicle, we have a lot of used repurposed equipment off a of previous utility. Starting off at the top, we have the Whale Liberty light bar with their license plate recognition cameras. We have the factory headlight flasher enabled. We have the sound off signal six head and four stick mounted in the grill with the white override. We have the Ford fog light warning light option enabled. Uh, we have hideaways mounted in the front headlight assemblies. Uh, down the side of the vehicle, we have under the mirror sound off signal intersector surface mount with the white override feature for additional uh, scene lighting. And then in the back side window and the second row seat window, we have single deck grill end forces in dual color with the white override feature. So taking a look at the back of the vehicle up top, we have the eight head sound off signal end force traffic advisor. This is in dual color. It has the flashing red or blue modules with the amber arrow stick override. In the tail lights, we have sound off signal hideaway LEDs mounted in there, and then we also have a tail lamp flasher that is flashing the parking lights and the reverse bulb. On the rear license plate area, we have four inch sound off signal M powers stud mounted. Uh, these have the white override feature for reverse. One thing you'll notice about the when looking at the rear of the vehicle, you can see that we have a single antenna mounted in the their laptop antenna, and then also uh, spare leads for a modem in the future. Uh, what this does is this helps reduce the amount of holes that need to be drilled in the roof up to three or four down to one antenna. Uh, this also helps them allow to center that antenna on the roof because there is a center rib or awkwardness with that that they found with mounting modem type antennas in the roof uh, because of the narrow space between the roof ribs. And then you'll see that on the roof um, on all of our light bar installs we use a cable gland which is different from sealing the roof with just silicone or any type of pliable material. And then also we bring the LPR cameras through another cable gland, which provides a clean look and also helps to prevent from any issues down the road with the silicone failing or the uh, pliable material coming apart and causing leaks. We mounted the arrow stick with a custom made bracket to the rear window so it goes up at the tailgate. And then we have a 12 inch strip light along with M powers on the hatch. These are currently on the on off switch. Uh, we repurposed their Havis electronics compartment. This houses the brain for the camera system, the CENCOM, uh, the, all their radio chassis and all the main power distribution for the vehicle. You can see the Panasonic arbitrator cameras mounted up front to the headliner. We've repurposed their dome light. And then we've also installed a custom indicator that lets the, the officer know that the camera is recording. We've set a pre-wire for a future uh, weapon rack to be installed up there onto the Sentina partition. And then in the back we put a Sentina rear cargo partition along with their full replacement transport seat with the rear center out seat belts. Thanks for checking out our video today. If you'd like to stay up to date with all of our builds, please subscribe, hit that like button, comment. We'd love to hear your feedback and provide any questions that we can help you out with.